Hey, hey, Ricardo here. So I'm starting this new series where I'm showcasing a different automation app every day for 30 days. So this is day one. And uh, I want to start uh, with something really cool that we re realized pretty recently, which is uh, a custom automation to check for calendar availability. So the client uh, in this case was a lead generation client uh, and the problem was the following. The problem that uh, was that when uh, people uh, received a positive response via cold email, they needed to go uh, to the client's calendar, check for the calendar availability, and uh, then create a, a message with the possible available time and then send this actual message with all the possible available time. So what we did is we solved this issue. So the first part was already handled and this part was handled by uh, sending the uh, called email response um, to Airtable. So uh, to Airtable. So this part uh, is was handled before, and then what we have is we built the check uh, availability in the uh, in the client interface. So let me show you uh, an example. So over here inside the inside the the management uh, table, we have a table called email responses here. In this table, we collect all the responses for the different client. And what we have over here is we have a inbox management uh, solution here. And inside here, we have different kind of uh, actions that we can take. One of them is this check client availability. So uh, I want to uh, uh, show you what, uh, what is happening when you click, when you actually click the button. So first off, uh, you uh, trigger this actual workflow. You get the email response from Airtable, so you actually get all the information that is present over here. Uh, and then what you do is you set the week dates. This is a, a variable used to set the start date and end date with some specific rules. So uh, the rules are usually to set the start date to check for the availability to be the next day and uh, the end date to be uh, the end of the week. Um, these uh, are rules uh, so that like we don't book uh, calls within the same date, but we book calls uh, in the next day or um, till the end of the week. So from Monday, if uh, we receive a response on Monday and we click the button, the um, the tool will use start and end date from Tuesday to Friday, as an example. And then what we have over here is we have another uh, variable that is used to check the next week's start date and next week end date because uh, the end results that we want to get is uh, we want to get a message where we mention a couple of uh, times uh, during that specific date and a couple of times uh, uh, the week afterwards. So that is uh, the idea behind that. What we do then is we use uh, uh, cal.com. We use cal.com to manage all the different clients' calendar. And the reasoning behind that is uh, because cal.com is the only solution that uh, is free. So first off, you can add as many clients as you want with cal.com as a very good API uh, integrations and uh, does the same thing that you can do with Calendly, uh, only that you would need to have uh, the paid version of Calendly in order to do that. So uh, this way, what we actually do is we check for the availability and then what we do is we use the start date and end date to check for the uh, client availability. Once uh, we do that, what we do is we do uh, three different things. So first off, we check, we get the working times and we format the working times in a specific format. And this is done uh, because we would like to know uh, in which uh, uh, in which uh, um, area of the calendar to book up and we'll need to have the working time of that specific person and uh, those kind of information uh, we can we can have those kind of information inside call.com into the section called uh, working times so here we have uh, an example of availability and in the availability we have uh, the different availabilities that we use so this is uh, uh, this part and then what we do here is we get the available times and then propose some available time so getting the available times for us it's about uh, actually getting 
um, the times because what we get in cult.com are actually the busy time. So the times uh, where you are busy in the calendar. So this is actually to get the available times. And then what we do is we propose some available times using a specific uh, uh, formula, um, using a specific formula. So in this case, what we do is uh, we say your job is to suggest uh, two 30 minute slots within the same day using the following format. I have an open slot at time or other time uh, on the, um, the day uh, and the day of the week and are you available at that time. So in that way, we are uh, the last part is actually used to craft the message um, and uh, we repeat the same thing for the next week. So in this part, we all, uh, we do the same thing for the next week. Uh, so in this way, we like, for example, here, what we do is we create another message where we uh, say, otherwise I have an availability next, uh, and that you mention next Monday, for example, um, or next uh, Tuesday at the specific time. Let, let me know which one you prefer. So in this way, you're actually getting um, you are actually getting the, um, the next week availability. And, uh, and what we do over here is we just uh, um, combine the outputs and then send those outputs to Airtable. So in the current uh, structure, the output uh, is uh, uh, something like the following. I have one open slot at 9 a.m. or 12 uh, p.m. on the 15th, uh, Friday. Are you available at the time? Otherwise, I have an availability on Monday at 10 or Wednesday at 14. Let me know which ones you prefer. So as you can see, this message is pretty um, pretty well crafted and can, be, um, and can be sent automatically. So what we do right now is we, um, we let the SDR copy this message and uh, paste the message to uh, smart lead. But uh, in the future, we also planning to add the auto send features on that. So hope uh, you like this initial video and uh, catch you tomorrow for the next one with other cool ideas.